Assalamu alaikum students. I am your course instructor, Miss Anika Said Zia, from University of Education, Bank Road Campus, Lahore. And I am associated with this profession of teaching for last five years. And I have my special specialization in visual arts, painting. Today we are going to discuss about the introduction of advanced painting in which we will see that how the painting has developed gradually with the passage of time, how the ideas have been changed, how the concepts and symbolism of painting has developed both in Eastern and in the Western art. The first topic is introduction which we will study today and we have already studied the topic of looking back to the past in which we have studied about the various movements of art from the history in which you have studied Impressionism, Post-Impressionism and all the developed art movements which came further. So let's see your course outline first. Your first topic is introduction which we will study today. Then there will be looking back to the past, monochromatic tonal painting, importance of symbolic elements, practical assignments on composition, preliminary sketches, Painting on myself, master copy, use a mirror, note a photograph, introduction project on color harmony, modern concepts, social thoughts in which you will do a self-portrait using palette knife technique, after World War II, you will study the reclined and foreshortened figure pose, color, shape and composition, portrait painting, self-portrait from mirror or trade painting. So let guess, let's start with your today's topic. Advanced painting. In advanced painting, you will learn how to develop conceptual ideas by using the elements of art, which is line, color, harmony, repetition, value, texture, composition, and rhythm to visually communicate. So, we will learn that how all these elements in today's time are helping to paint a remarkable artwork. All these elements provide life in any artwork. There should be some kind of harmony in all these elements. Otherwise, your painting and your artwork looks disturbed and unbalanced. We will focus on developing meaningful paintings that conceptually address issues or ideas that are important to you. After World War II, it was only after World War II, however, that the US became the focal point of new artistic movements. The 1950s and 1960s saw the emergence of new art era There we see 
abstract expressionism, color field painting, conceptual artists of art and language, pop art, pop art, hard edge painting, minimal art, lyrical abstraction, happening video art, post minimalism, photorealism and various other movements. In the late 1960s and 1970s, we see land art, performance art, conceptual art and other new art forms had attracted the attention of curators and critiques at the expense of more traditional media. In this painting, which is having the title of Hope by George Frederick, you can see a female figure sitting on a globe which symbolizes the world and the background is so blurry and this is the example of symbolic painting and conceptual painting. Here in this painting we will further see that how artist has tried to develop idea and creativity in this painting. It presents a, bl a blindfolded female sitting on a globe playing the lyre with a single string. As you can see the eyes of the female are having a bandage and she is unable to see anything. The background is blank. The picture's sense of melancholy is enhanced by the soft brush strokes. The female represents the blindness to the mental state she embodies. It is actually the hopelessness towards reality and despair against hope. The greyish background is a symbol of sadness in mood and environment. So here we can see that how with the help of color we can express some specific emotions. The bent woman is trying to hear the weak music is symbolic of the faintest hope. So here we can say that the musical instrument has been used as a symbol of hope. Now we will see that how the painting in Pakistan has become advanced and how the contemporary artists are using different color symbols, compositions to express their personal and social ideas. The first topic, the first artist is Salman Tour. Salman Tour's work at first glance looks playful overflowing with color and figurative images 
that seem very rela relatable to our society and culture. Although Salman Tour is commenting on the tense relationship between the privileged and the poor in a highly divided society. Through his work, Thur creates a dialogue between the ideas of the working class and extravaganza between high morals and corruption. Thur uses images from both art history and popular culture and brings forth his own experiences with the serving lower class. Thur is living and working in Brooklyn. He received his MFA in painting from the Pratt Institute in 2009. So, he makes a very remarkable and musical and literary compositions between the high morals and corruption. There are various connotations which, which can be seen in his paintings He has also tried to play with the pre-existing landmarks which are very popular and very renownable in his painting which can be easily identified by a common person as well. This is the painting by the artist Tour in which one can see the various connotations from Eastern and Western culture. On the left side you can see the Statue of Liberty and the motif from the American flags in the trouser of the figure which, rep which represents the Western culture. And on the right side the Eastern culture is evident. On the right side you can see a mosque which shows the religious connotations. In the center you can see the very famous sculpture from the Indus Valley Civilization, priest head as the artist has also represented his life in the painting and it represents his association with the area where he used to live. He used to live near Harappa. That's why he has used those specific masterpieces of art from that particular civilization. He has also used text in his painting to some extent. Here in a very ironic way, he has tried to portray the influence of the powerful sources of the superpowers on the laypersons of specific country. Ali Kazim. Ali Kazim was born in Pakistan and currently lives and works in Lahore, Pakistan. He received his BFA degree from the NCA Lahore and MFA from the Slate School of Fine Arts London, UK in 2011. The artist's most recent work depicts rocky landscapes on a huge scale plains scattered with rocks and boundaries, boulders, dales of broken ruins of terracotta pottery on paper. He also made sculptures resembling rocks to easily transport the viewer 
into the paintings. Kazam lives close to the site of Harappa, the ancient city of the Indus Valley civilization. He was inspired by remnants of former societies and is fascinated by ruins and lost eras. Kazim worked in the field of visual arts for the past 11 years and his work exhibited widely in solo and group shows internationally. Here you can see four different panels. on which artist has painted different rocky landscapes. There is no evidence of greenery or life on it. The only thing which is evident is stones and the terracotta clay pieces. As artist has a special connection with the Harappan civilization, that's why that's why he has used those terracotta pot pieces as we know that in Indus Valley civilization, people used to make different terracotta pots and figurines which they used to worship. So that's why artist has used and depicted all those pieces scattered on the landscape. And there is a feeling of emptiness and loneliness in the painting Adil Zafar Adil Zafar was born in Karachi Pakistan in 1975 he completed his BFA from National College Lahore graduating in 1998 after college he returned to Karachi and joined Karachi School of Arts as an instructor Conceptual Hidden Connotations Zafar associates his childhood memories and his perpetual dealing with subjects for children as the core of his imagery development. He symbolizes this bandaging manipulation as the delusive asperity. He alters the dainty and soft characteristic of a stuffed toy, for example, by transforming the identity of the object, driving it into the rather serious orientation. Zafar's flamboyant command over the, pakis, over the painstaking pattern strokes may appear principled to miniature craftsmanship, the enormous scale of the work segregates him from the existing league of contemporary miniature artists. In this painting, you can see that the artist has rendered the objects, which are the stuffed toys, in a miniaturistic style which is very painstaking and very time consuming. He has captured all the details very beautifully but the most interesting thing in this painting is that that uh, he has changed the character of that toy he has given a symbolic meaning 
to these toys although these are toys but at the same time they have been created with the help of bandages and if we see we use these bandages to cover our wounds so this way he has trying to say something very deep toys have a strong connotation with the childhood memories but at the same time bandage symbolizes the harsh realities of childhood and he used to paint on huge scale in the miniaturistic technique which makes his paintings very different and makes his work very contemporary as compared to the other conventional artists who are working in small sizes of miniature painting Amra Khan is a resilient visual artist that lives and works in Lahore she graduated from NCA with a distinction in painting in 2008 she did her masters in visual arts from NCA Lahore she is skilled in oils acrylics and miniature painting and often expresses her talents through sculptures and video installations so we can see that artist has been working in more than four mediums her work tends to revolve around having two poles and different ideas or personalities living in the same body conflicting gender power and identity she is talking about the two contradictory things existing at the same area or place so for example if we are talking about the positives and negatives they can't live together in one place she works to speak through an insight the observer to question tangibility here as you can see this painting has multiple symbolic meanings as she is talking about the two opposite ideas the two opposite personalities so in this painting we can easily see the two opposite personalities in the same gesture at the back side of the head of both figures we can see a hollow like mark hollow which symbolizes the piousness of the person on the left side we can see the plants which can eat life creatures like dragon flies which are also painted and visible in the painting so this painting has different ideas hidden in it and if we look closely both of the figures are seated on the fish which is forming a tree Shazia Sekandar a 
Pakistani American contemporary artist lives and works in New York from painting to animation to large scale artistic installations she has done it all she has explored multiple mediums of art however she is known for her exquisite miniature paintings that draw from the rich tradition of miniatures in the subcontinent she tries to blend opposite themes such as hindu and muslim identities or eastern and western sensibilities through her work and often incorporates personal ideas hidden within traditional motifs so we can see here that an artist can express her ideas by taking the help of different concepts different beliefs and different pre-existing symbols and images as well this is a famous painting of shah zia sikandar hood's red rider in this painting we can see different connotations from both religions in the back side if we see there is a figure having multiple hands and holding different weapons in each hand and it looks more like a warrior but if we see it has some relationship with the goddess which we found in the hindu religion which has multiple hands which we used to see in their culture the front image looks more like from the mughal era as she is holding a kind of halo in her hands in the back side we can also see some figures some gymnastic figures so there are different motifs which have been used here a design like quality has been achieved by placing different dots in the image now we will study about the artwork of the saduk suhail he is also a storyteller a lover and has an insatiable taste for the flaming obscene women in his paintings are his dreams their eyes tell stories of their fears and desires their naked backsides protrude out at bearded men they exit exist as beautiful fixtures in a breathtaking landscape that is unadulterated by the laws of bearded and political men he dreams of women in one shape the same curves lips sometimes even the same faces men are the same too interestingly the same beards same eyes though never the body so basically the artist is ex- exploring the beauty of female 
he used to capture their different features and the different postures and paint them as the part of landscapes and he used to say that the female figures plays the part of areas of interest in his paintings these are some images of his paintings in which we can see different animals along with different female figures and the colors have been conceptually used as the blue color at the sides is symbolizing water or is giving an aqua feeling as we can see various marine creatures in the blue color and the figures have been beautifully composed among the landscape here is another painting of him here is another composition here again we can see the female figure composed in the landscape samrachima she used to draw things as she saw them in real but that time she did not realize this beautiful skill of her to play using fingers with colors in nature and those in her imaginations her first inspiration always remained nature coral reefs is her great inspiration having deep interest in coral habitats at the ocean floor which she relates to the transgender especially in our society where they do not have same social value as others coral reefs is her great inspiration having deep interest in coral habitats at the ocean floor which she relates to the tra- transgender especially in our society where they do not have same social value as others she says that through my art she wants to invent a new way to find social equality for transgender in our society here one of his paint one of her paintings praying woman and the medium is oil here we can easily see the technique which she has used she didn't use any kind of brush to paint her paintings especially in the front area she has used her fingers for the application of paint with the help of her fingers she has achieved a special texture of coral as you can see a woman is shown with her hands in air and busy in a in busy in pray in the background we can see the intricate lines 
where she has used the brush otherwise in the front area she has only used her fingers to create the specific texture here is another painting by the artist in which she has used again her fingers to achieve the specific texture of the coral reef and the top uh, title of the painting is relationship rind conceptual figure painter concept and symbolism have always been two highly essential factors of art rather two perspectives sometimes they were presented independently while on the other hand as a combination rind completed his diploma of 4 years in fine arts in this body of work women who are the main focus of his visuals are portrayed draped in eastern garments and jewelry so here the artist has explored the female figures and use different elements from nature and from different cultures to enhance the beauty of his models in some compositions he used to paint more than one figure and in some paintings he just do the painting of a single figure the way the artist has applied cover to the bodies makes them look almost sensuous not only because of the revealing garments themselves but also due to the use of the sharp color palette which makes them look almost god like the bodies are draped and colored in shades of sky blue rose pink and summery tones of yellow making them look divine creatures the depiction of birds leaves and flowers along with the female forms are possibly symbolizing fertility and growth as all of these motifs are living forms here in this painting we can see that how artist has used different elements from the nature like leaves and there are also musical instrument which enhance the beauty of the painting and he has a specific style of painting which resembles more like that of Pablo Picasso style there is some feeling of cubism as most of the lines are straight and sharp edges and there is also the text is used evident in the middle of the painting here is another painting by the artist as you can see the yellow color 
in the background is making a halo behind the female figures enhance their beauty and the flowers have also been used as a symbol of beauty and fragrance and there is use of text as well in the painting and the composition has been, has been balanced beautifully by the artist i hope that today's lecture has helped you a lot to understand the painting techniques and the various advancements which have been made in today's artwork thank you